0690 over here and uh, I'm coming at you with uh, this video to show you how to do this right here which is run uh, Mac OS X Le uh, Lion 10.7 on your Hackintosh the things that you're gonna need you're gonna need the Mac OS X 10.7 uh, DMG uh, which is a developer preview only for developers um, I will not I won't be able to upload this because it's illegal but I think you guys know what to do in order to uh, be able to use this uh, what I will be uploading for you is Chameleon RC5 and Netcast's boot file so you guys will be able to boot Lion now I'll tell you using Chameleon right now until they come up with an actual Chameleon 4 Lion this will cause you to have uh, uh, double panics uh, but what you do pretty much is is you shut the power off to your power supply for 10-15 seconds then turn it back on and boot and then it, it'll take you two or three times and Chameleon will run without getting the uh, double fault and uh, that's how you'll use that uh, there is another uh, bootloader out there um, I've used it a couple of times I don't really like it because as long as it takes for that bootloader to boot up I can get Chameleon running and I just personally like Chameleon a lot better I will also be uploading a file for you guys which will be this untitled folder right here and what this is gonna have is a 32-bit and 64-bit uh, boot plist I got 10 different DSTT files for your specific uh, CPU I got a bunch of different kecks for you guys you know m most of the stuff that that's pretty common to use in order to get your Hackintosh working I do have readme files in some of these uh, folders in here so uh, if you're unsure of where the placement of things go or how to use things please read the uh, readme files I also have a uh, symbios uh, in here for you for iMac 9.1's up to uh, 11.3 MacBook Pro and uh, the Mac Pro ones so you guys can use them also and there's a couple of different themes in here nothing really special just uh, different themes that you would get with Chameleon or like a multi beast type setup and I also put Kext Utility in there for you guys a uh, couple more things that you're gonna need is a uh, like a 2 gigabyte USB um, I'm using a 4 here. This is what we're going to use to install Chameleon RC5 on. And then you're also going to need an 8 gigabyte USB drive. And that's what you're going to be installing your, uh, your Lion uh, packages on and folders and everything else that you're going to need to boot into it. That's what you're going to be installing that on. So, having said that, I would also like for people to make sure that they understand it's in the readme files in those folders but the DSDT files in there are for G41M-ES2L uh, revision 1.0, 1.2, 1.3 and 1.4 uh, pretty much whatever revision of G41-ES2L motherboard you have those DSDT files will work on they won't work on any other gigabyte motherboard uh, you can try it at your own risk uh, if anything happens I don't want to be held responsible for you messing up your motherboard so I'm just wanting to make that clear okay the first thing that we'll do um, this isn't really necessary but I'll do this just for the sake of the video is uh, we're gonna go into terminal and show all files Okay, now that we have all files shown, we're going to open up our DMG. Okay, now once we have our DMG open, 
we're going to go back into terminal and we're going to cd to our mac os x install est okay and now once you're in here if you hit ls it'll show you everything in here and all you want to do is open the base system dmg Okay, once the uh, <clears throat> base system DMG is opened, it will now be labeled Mac OS X base system. The next thing you're going to want to do is go into disk utility. You're going to want to find your 8 gigabyte uh, flash drive, and you're going to partition that to one partition, and then label it whatever you want. I label mine Lion install. Just remember you know how you labeled it formatted as Mac OS extended journal in options make sure it's GUID partition table and apply and that will format your hard drive or your USB drive to that and then once that is partitioned you'll restore that and then you're going to use the uh, Mac OS X base system as the source and then you're going to use your Lion install as the destination. It's not going to let me because I didn't reformat my Lion install because this has already been done and it takes a little while for it to copy everything over. So that's why I'm not doing it in this video. But you're going to want to make sure that you uncheck the erase destination. See how it's checked right now? You want to take that check mark off of there and then hit the restore button. And then it will restore everything on here to here okay so that'll probably take uh, you know I don't know 25 minutes or so maybe a little bit longer uh, depending on your computer okay now once that gets done restoring you're gonna come back into terminal and you're gonna type this command in and lion install is my install USB so whatever you name yours you're gonna type volumes and then whatever the name of your install USB is right there mine is lion install so that's why that's there like that okay and I'll open this up and this right here this package is this command right here is going to remove that because that is not what you want. That's just a linked file that isn't going to do anything for you. And now it's gone. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go back into terminal. And what this command is going to do is it's going to copy this packages folder to your installation disk. And it's copying a couple of gigs of, uh, of, of file here, so it's going to take a little bit, uh, maybe like 5 or 10 minutes or something. So once that's done... Um, I'll come back and we'll get our uh, you our other two gigabyte USB uh, loaded with Chameleon and the boot file that we need, and uh, we'll boot into the uh, installation of it.